very much. Yeah. 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 Trips. It's been it's great uh, having you on board. Thank you for your service. Yeah. Big boy, 275. What are you saying? What are you saying? Yeah, we've got a spin lock. The Arrow RC Rolex Fastnet in Cowes in the UK, which is uh, an iconic, uh, one of the famous classic, you know, major ocean races. And Storm won that race in 1961. This year, so 2021, we've been really celebrating the boat's 60th anniversary and amidst all of the difficulties to get here and with the boat coming out of the major rebuild and with all of the COVID restrictions, it's been quite a big effort this year to, to make that happen. We getting out, we have five tacks to do in like, uh, just to get out. So imagine all the tacking that we have to do on the solid, okay? And we are doing 11 knots on the, on, over the ground, so we are going very, very fast. The Fastnet is really one of the first of the major ocean races, uh, 600 mile ocean races, but it's really, you know, the classic. It seems to be a little tiny bit more south in it from yesterday, but unfortunately the star is going to go up a little bit more. So we're going to be well pressed on the number three and one reef in the main, and we're going to have to steer up into the wind as we hit gusts that might be 35, 37 knots. So ready to roll, motor's going on, get out of here. We're going to put the storm sails up and uh, ready parade past the committee boat for our qualifying uh, run so we, they know that we have all the stuff in the storm. Uh, yeah. Okay, hold now. Hold now. Our dry sail is stuck and won't go up and without the dry sail, up we won't be able to into the race to the regulations, safety regulations. Right now we're meant to be going through the mark right now. So the guys are trying to Getting out of the Solent, where you have very strong tides, if you've got strong winds as well, if the wind is against the tide, the sea state can be very strong. So that makes it very difficult at the start. Tidal flows around the southern coast of England are very strong, so that really adds uh, an element of extra awareness and skill that's required to maximise your your course. Well, 
but we are on a big heavy boat, so everything is fine. How do you think Storm Boat was going? She's doing okay in a 60 year old boat. A few little issues. We've got a crank bulkhead up board. So, uh, you know, it's a few uh, little issues starting to show up. We've got a bent uh, push bit back aft. The bilge had quite a bit of water in it. Not quite sure where that's all come from. So, uh, we'll just have to do a bit of uh, research. We lost all the rice off the stove, so we had a bit of a clean up down there. I think even across um, the what? Class, really class Portland now um, and trying to get into uh, the bay here before we tack out into the uh, centre of the channel again. The breeze is going light and we're expecting it to come back in later in gusts and therefore we don't want to change the combination of sails too much. We need more power at the moment but we'll need less later on so we're trying to judge those things. At the moment we're going back to a full main and a number three. Storm is a bigger boat, it's 74 feet long, we need about 16 people to crew on board so it's more complicated when you're racing with the bigger boats, the load on all the gear and the equipment is much higher than say on a 40 footer. So you need people with good skill, you know what they're doing, otherwise it can get a bit dangerous. Stone, then the light ship, sorry. Uh, and now we're heading on a course that will take us to the top of the um, TSS zone here, where we can then make a left turn and head towards the fast net rock. It's not over yet, boy. <laughs> temperatures and you know you have to be very very well prepared to do the fast night. We're you know we're well placed uh, it's just a matter of what the conditions are for the finish and uh, you know if the breeze drops out on us
coming up to the, um, the final part of the, uh, the race, very much dictated by what happens with the wind at that point in time. Yeah, we've had a fantastic year, uh, or a fantastic uh, few months, should I say, just here in the Med and sailing up to the UK. And, uh, we're now moving on to a regatta in Saint-Tropez in uh, a couple of weeks' time, which will be end of our season with Storm Vogel. It's been a while since I've been up here, you never lose it.